Well, good Friday morning to you folks. I hope things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. It was good to see the folks up at Gibbons last night. Enjoyed the service and pray for uh, Brother Burley and uh, Brother Jerry and that there are souls for their labors there. I'm going to read to you a piece from the book of Romans. Romans 4, talking about Abraham here, it says, Because the law worketh wrath, in verse 15, For where no law is, there is no transgression. Therefore it is of faith, that it might be by grace, to the end of the promise, might be sure to all seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of faith, of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, before him, whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were, who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead, when he was about an hundred years old, neither uh, yet the deadness of Sarah's womb, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform. <clears throat> That's not talking about his body being physically dead as far as dead, but it's talking about when you're 100 years old, um, it's not unlikely, it's impossible that you're going to have children and your wife 90. I told that story to somebody the other day, and I said, you would maybe would say, that's impossible that a 90-year-old woman and a 100-year-old man could have a child. And I would say, yes, you're right, it is impossible, but there is nothing impossible with God. With man, yes, but with God, no. But he didn't stagger at those promises. But he took them, and he believed what God said, and he held on to it. There are promises that God makes us. Sometimes we hold on to them. Sometimes we do not. Um, sometimes we um, lack of faith. I do. You probably do. It comes and goes at times. Uh, but God has promised us. He would never leave us nor forsake us. And so today I hope you hang on to those promises. It may not always be the way you want it. But God knows the needs today for sure. He didn't promise that I would never stumble, but he did say he'd be there if I fall. He didn't tell me he'd hear complaints I'd whisper, but he did say he'd if I call Promises, promises And all of them true He's done exactly What he said he would do He didn't tell me My heart would not be broken, but he did say he meant it again. He didn't promise my cross would not be heavy, but he did say that he, my Lord, But he did say he'd hear my earnest prayer. Promises, promises, and all of them true. He's done exactly what he said.
we thank you for the promises and the promise that you made us, that you would never leave us nor forsake us. The promise that Christ made uh, to his disciples and to all those followers that if he would go away, he would come again and receive us unto himself, that where he is, there we might be also. We're thankful for that. Lord, I pray that you would bless all those that hear this today. Give them strength, give them help and encouragement in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you on Saturday.